Hello, my brothers and sisters. Welcome back. It's time for the Morning Mindset. Carrie Green here. I am excited to encourage you today that you, as a follower in Christ, have all the love you need. The exact love you need from God the Father through His Son, Jesus Christ. We're going to dig into that in just a moment. But as I'm thinking about the love that people feel from God, I'm realizing there are different ways that people feel that. And I've heard a lot of stories recently from people who have received love through the ministry of Not a Needy Person. If you're not familiar with Not a Needy Person, you can check it out at notaneedyperson.org. It is a nonprofit we have built based on the needs that we've seen come through as we've been interacting with people from this Morning Mindset podcast. And it's an opportunity for us to practice what the early church practiced in Acts chapter 4, where they voluntarily gave to meet the needs of other believers. I want to thank you if you have generously given to those in need over at Not a Needy Person. We have helped so many people recently in ways that have just touched their hearts, and I just love that it's possible. Please check out notaneedyperson.org. All right, today we are continuing in our 2022 prep series, looking at John chapter 15. Today we'll be looking at verses 9 and 10. Now remember, Jesus in the context has been telling us that we have a responsibility to abide in him. That's his phrase. And he means stay connected to him. Don't go off as a Lone Ranger Christian. Don't try to live the Christian life on your own. Stay connected to him. And he will provide for you everything you need for your life. And speaking of the things we need for life, it makes me mindful. We all need love, don't we? We all want to be loved. We have this deep desire to be loved for who we are. And Jesus understands that. In fact, he connects it directly to this idea of staying connected with him. Because out of that connection, we also receive love from the Son, Jesus, and the Father. He says in John 15, 9 through 10, he says, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. All right, now let's get very clear on what Jesus is saying here. First off, he just blows my mind with the comparison that he makes at the beginning. He says, as the Father has loved me. So stop for a moment and just think about what that means. As God the Father has loved the Son. Well, how is that? What does that look like? Well, that's got to be the most connected, intimate, powerful bond of love that exists in the universe. The love between the eternal Father and the eternal Son. I mean, they're persons one and two of the Trinity, how much more connected and in love with each other could two people be? Jesus says, as the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now put that in your pipe and smoke it. You know, th think about that for a bit. The same kind of approach and degree and tenacity with which the Father loves the Son is how Jesus himself says he loves us. Can your mind compute that? Can you just take a moment and marinate in that? That's an amazing thing for us to consider. Now that love is ours because we are followers of Jesus Christ. That just blows me away. And Jesus tells us that since you have that love, you have a responsibility, here again is our part, to abide in his love. That's what he says, abide in my love. He's saying, stay there, remain connected to my love. Don't let yourself stray through other loves. And here's how we do that. He says, if you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Friends, this is just like a child who loves their parent, obeying their parent because they love them. They respect them. They want to do what will please the parent's heart. Jesus is saying the same thing. He says, just as I've kept my father's commandments, and therefore I abide in his love. You see, our disobedience doesn't remove us from God's love. We still have that amazing love he described. But we abide in that love. We remain connected to it, and it has an impact and effect in our lives when we obey the commands Jesus has given us. Oh, Jesus, teach us how to obey you out of love. 
Teach us how to remain in your love, abide in your love through our obedience so that we can benefit from it and we can see the world blessed because of it. Jesus, you are our center. You are our source. Make yourself that more and more here in 2022. As we move into a new year with new hopes, new dreams, new aspirations, Lord, give us all of those things. Make our dreams and aspirations yours, that we can be a witness for you. It's in your name we pray. Amen.